Hi, good afternoon. My name is Maher Lewis and today I'll be showing you how to use the GIS provided uh, street center lines to uh, from the county to use the uh, uh, the street name attributes to show up and then how to export the center line and the street names to an AutoCAD drawing. So um, first off, let's begin. Let's start with uh, Civil 3D 2010. And uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to use the drawing template uh, map, and then it will just be the map 2D. So just create new drawing. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to save that drawing on your desktop. Okay. So here I just called it Sonoma County Roads .dwg. The uh, the file that we're going to export, I'm going to name it as ACAD dash Sonoma County Roads .dwg. The next thing you want to do is you want to download the county uh, GIS information, and I've already done so. Uh, here it is, 17 megs. You just drag and drop, and there you go. There's your street center lines. Uh, the next thing you want to do is um, you want to create a polygon uh, along the alignment in which you want to show the street the, the street names. So um, I'm on layer zero. It really doesn't matter which layer you're on, but uh, let's just do a P line and let's just start clicking along uh, sort of this. area here. Now I'm, I'm doing this because uh, I have this project um, along the railroad and the uh, the streets that cross it are important for for design purposes to to know how many street crossings there are on the uh, railroad uh, right of way so I'm just clicking away and we get to the end pretty soon here. Oh yeah, go back the other way. <laughs> right, this is a railroad. And close. Okay. So now what I did is I have this polygon. You can see here with the blue squares and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change from Civil 3D to task-based geospatial okay and uh, I'm going to type in my command map w space which will turn on this display and you, what you do is you right click on the uh, the uh, layer where the streets are and you locate that and you, what you do is you do a query to filter this data. So the data that we have is the street center lines. We want to query that data. And here there is a there are three buttons. One is a a, a simple filter. Start with the multiple conditions, and then here's one where you feature uh, things on the map. So you click on that, and it will pull down the menu. And the first thing you want to do is do the polygon. Uh, obviously it asks you do you want to create a polygon well we've already done so so we'll just select it press S for select and then we'll select that polygon and we'll say OK there so now we have the geospatial provided data only what is shown within that polygon that closed polygon okay now the next thing you want to do is you want to zoom in and we'll zoom in pretty close just to get a good look of what I'm going to do next. So now that I've zoomed in all the way, I'm going to right click here and I'm going to edit the style. Okay, so the style here says by default uh, none. So you see this label? There's no labels, it's a none. Okay, and what we want to do is we want the street names. Okay, and it says here that what it's going to do is going to put it on the aerial font, which is fine. We don't care. Um, we'll figure out the device, the device space, whatever. Um, here, 
I, I just put a, an arbitrary number, 1.25, because that to me seems like an AutoCAD number. And uh, there you go. So here's the streets within that polygon, which you see I selected here. Okay. Next thing you want to do is you want to go out, output, and you want to you want to um, output the current map as a DWG. And you click on that, and then I'm just going to save it on my desktop and go save. It says, do you want to replace? I say yes. Give it a second. Okay, it's done. And uh, just to prove that it's done, we'll uh, open it right now. Go File Open, and that's the file right there. Open. Okay, so this is not the GIS um, version of this. Uh, I mean, this drawing is not GIS derived. Okay, this is a polygon. Um, if you right click on it, notice there is no um, C table where the as the other one if you select this this uh, this thing it says C show data table so you know this is GIS and the other one is not just because it's an AutoCAD drawing okay so that that concludes this demonstration thank you for watching